Now, since last year, Pakistan has faced a dire economic crisis that has left millions struggling to make ends meet. Right, and according to the World Bank, over 12.5 million Pakistanis have fallen below the poverty line, pushing the poverty rate to a staggering 39.4%. And what that means is that nearly 40% of the country's population is now grappling with the challenge of meeting their basic needs. Watch this report to know more. Poverty in Pakistan has been on the rise, with millions of people unable to earn more than $3.65 per day. Approximately 95 million Pakistanis now live in poverty, making Pakistan the country with the lowest per capita income in South Asia. In addition to the economic woes, Pakistan also faces educational challenges, with the highest number of out-of-school children in the world. The World Bank's lead country economist for Pakistan warns that Pakistan is in the midst of a severe economic and human development crisis. However, these policy decisions are often influenced by powerful vested interests, including military, political and business leaders. Now, Pakistan faces a multitude of economic challenges, including inflation, rising electricity prices, climate shocks and insufficient resources for development and climate adaptation, despite being highly vulnerable to climate change impact. With a general election scheduled for the last week of January, the World Bank has prepared draft policy notes for the next government outlining crucial reforms. These reforms include immediate steps to tax agriculture and real estate, as well as cutting wasteful expenditures to stabilize the economy. Pakistan has the capacity to collect taxes equal to 22% of its GDP. But the current ratio stands at only 10.2%. The World Bank proposes increasing the tax to GDP ratio by 5% through measures such as withdrawing tax exemptions and imposing higher taxes on real estate and agriculture. The World Bank also suggests compulsory use of computerized national identity cards for transactions, further reducing energy and commodity subsidies and implementing a single treasury account. In the medium term, they recommend reducing federal development and current expenditures on provincial projects, improving the quality of development spending and finding savings in various government programs. Now, Pakistan's inflation has reached a staggering 27.4%, putting immense pressure on the already struggling population. Despite these economic challenges, Pakistan continues to expand its nuclear arsenal. The World Bank's call for major policy shifts underscores the urgency of the situation. The upcoming elections provides an opportunity for change, but it will require bold decisions and a commitment to reform from all stakeholders in the country. The future of millions of Pakistanis hangs in the balance and the time to decide is now. We will report beyond World is One.